And Papa says, farming, cow protection, and business are the natural work for the Vaishyas. And for the Shudras, they are labor and service to others. Please repeat. Please repeat. Farming. Farming. Cow protection. Cow protection. And business. And business. Are the natural work for the Vaishyas. Are the natural work for the Vaishyas. And for the Shudras, and for the Shudras, there are labor and service to others. So that means when you have your MBA, you should be expert in farming, cow protection. Yes? Right? They don't teach that too much. There's a great distortion, and therefore there's economic problems all over the world. Yeah. Papa said, actually, these are the real occupations. This is the purpose. They said the main function of the government is to increase grain production. Like that. You know? And then, you know, farming, uh, cow protection, and if there's an excess, then business. Like that. Where, and what, what does business come down to? Four words. You can go all, I went to where he was, uh, Trey Arishi, he went to the Harvard you know, business school, everything else. It actually, the whole thing finally came down to four words. Busy as in as. No, buy low. Sell, 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 sell. That's, that's the whole thing. <laughs> and other than that, it's totally a matter of improvisation, just checking out what's going on or somehow or other, but that's the whole business administration comes down to buy low, sell high. So then the vice is engaged, but, but there's a limit to how much you know, profit you can make and things like that. And they see where there's something excessive here and something in the shortage here, and they make some adjustment, and then they get some, some profit. Dhanda Maharaj was a little robust. Like that, we say we don't say fat. We say a little robust, <laughs> a little bit of vaisha. And when there's a time of shorties and things like that, then the vaishas then use this uh, collected capital under the direction of the kshatriyas you know, to to maintain people and take care of things like that. You know? So very natural, healthy position. And when there's cultivation of the human spirit, then they're happy. They're happy with festivals and seeing. You know, nice events. The Brahmanas have organized such a nice Govardhan Puja and I gave some money for it. I feel very happy now, very satisfied. You know? And if not, then what do you do? Look for satisfaction in drinking, smoking, you know, so many things like that. You need more money, more money. And so we get all these artificial businesses. You know? What's his name? Mahatma Gandhi said, right? There's enough for every man's needs, but not enough for you know, one man's greed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's well. In the Vedas say the same thing. Om Purnam Madha Purnam Iram Purnat Purnam Udachate Purnasya Purnam Adaya Purnam Eva Vishishate. The absolute truth is complete. Yeah, and everything that comes from it is also complete. This material world is also complete, right? It's a complete horror. <laughs> it's a complete, complete mental hospital. It's, all the problems here are, are part of the whole complete process to make you. You reform yourself like that. And even though so many complete units come from the complete, it still remains? Complete events. Yeah. So this is Purnam, Purna, Purnasya. It's a great, great grammar lesson. And then, Isha Vasya Midam Sarvam. Yeah. Everything is owned and controlled by Isha, <laughs> as you may know him. Isha, and, and everybody has a quota, right? And if we take our quota, then there'll never be any problem. The Buddhists say, he who knows when enough is enough will always have enough. <laughs> like that, yeah. Uh, in, in the purport, Prabhupada talks about what is our quota. He, he focuses on one topic, actually two topics. The first topic is, what is our quota? Especially he's concerned with... You know? uh, meat eating. The tiger's quota is a certain amount of meat and stuff like that. And he stays within this range and there's automatically kind of an arrangement like that. You know? and it's, it's not that the lion you know, has an easy time of it. You know? Because these, these uh, wildebeest and what do you call these guys, zebras and stuff, just spontaneously, just when they feel these claws grabbing their rear end, kick. Right? And they can kick hard. So this lion has to grab a hold of his breakfast at the same time, too, he has his good face chance of having his face smashed. And they show this, the lions with a broken jaw, and they just starve to death after some time. You know? So, okay, he has some kind of a fair fight there. But for a human being, the quota is? 
beefsteak, hamburger. No. <laughs> huh? Yeah, uh, patum pus bumpalam toyam, fruits, vegetables, milk, grains. And with these we can live happily. But that's not actually our quota, right? Yeah? If you just take that, you, you, you won't be free from simple reactions. A little something else has to be done here. Huh? You have to offer it to Krishna. Yeah, so Prabhupada says our quota is prasadam, especially a human being like that. This is very nice, two, two purports. Actually, in the uh, Upadesham Rita, when it's talking about achahara, prayasas, cha, over collecting, these basic things that make society peaceful, they have Prabhupada, the Acharyas, they quote these two verses from the Upanishad, Yishabhasha, Vidam, Sarabhama, Nom Purnam. So it makes very, very nice lectures at universities in economics. And by the way, big professors just talking about this is amazing, and then going through and you know, saying how this integrates with modern economic theory and what the problems are and how your ideas are very nice and so on. So then one of the most essential things for us in terms of how to live peacefully in this world is cow protection, like that. And if you go to Light of the Bhagavat, Sukadeva Swami's discussion of uh, lessons of nature, right, lessons from nature. And number 27, it says, there's a nice picture. Okay, you can blow this up like that. It's really nice. You know, a nice picture like this. This this book is actually a nightmare for a, for a book designer <laughs> because some of the pictures are round, some of the pictures are broad, some of the pictures are tall. <laughs> yeah. And the one who designed our book, he said it was this. He looked at it, he was like, "Oh my God, what am I going to do?" You know, the original one, Tamal Krishna Maharaj, did actually had had fold outs <laughs> to try to like, deal with it like that. But he said he just, just prayed to God, he said it was just amazing, because he designed so many books, but everything was just like falling in line like that and stuff, you know. So we produced, we produced this um, full size uh, in Spanish, you know, the full size, like the full size pages, Spanish and English like that. You know? And a lot of experience in dealing with book production. It's not a small thing making a book. You know? For example, I'll tell you, we get the whole thing done full size, and what happened? The pages start falling out. <laughs> And our designer is like, you know, flipping out because, you know, this is professional reputation and everything else. And, you know, what he did, he used glue binding on the pages, like that. Because some of these pictures, uh, actually, it's interesting here, they don't do that. Ah, okay, there's one. Some of these pictures are on two pages, okay? Now, if you use glue binding, it's not a problem because you can cut the picture, okay? But if you use stitch binding, that means that actually it's on two totally different pieces of paper. It's stopping like this. So it's got to line up exactly, right? So it doesn't show up. And also when it's going through the printing press, the, the ink on the first part of it has the ink with the ink on the last part of it. Otherwise you'll see a little difference in color and shading like that and so on. So to avoid that problem, he didn't use stitch binding. He uses glue binding on the back. And then the pages started falling out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he went to a big, went to his friend who was a big publisher in Lima, Peru, did Bibles, and he said, oh yeah, it's because the pages are, like, you should have missed one, it's working there, you know. The guy said, can I cut it open? He said, well, okay, you know. So he cut it open, and it's using glue binding, but the, the binding is like this. The pages are cut like this. So it's a little diamond shape at the back. So it's more for the glue to grab onto. And inside of every diamond, a little hole. <laughs> so, so the glue is actually making a stitch binding. Okay. And he said, what you've done is you made this thing twice as big, so the glue has to hold on to twice as much, four times as much paper, practically speaking, with only, you know, maybe one-third the, the, the grip, you know. And I said, that's your problem. And he said, if you want to make a, a die cut like this, it'll cost you so much, but go ahead and do the stitch binding and don't worry about the, you know, the little color differences. You're not going to charge them up for the book, book anyway. So somebody, making a book, producing books, is a big endeavor. I appreciate it. It's a very substantial thing. Building temples or making books for Krishna. Okay. So Prabhupada Ki. He did both. Okay.